Hey guys, we're going to be looking at another Linux distro, and this one's going to be Solus with the Budgie desktop environment. So Solus was originally based off of Debian, uh, which Ubuntu is based off of. So it used the apt package manager uh, with the command sudo apt-get update, sudo apt-get install, the basic familiar commands. But this one is actually based, ac they actually changed it and is now based off the EO package manager and that is pronounced E-O-P-K-G and that's how it's spelled. So here's their uh, website and it, as you can see it has a pretty slick look. Uh, sorry about my internet connection so uh, it's also o open source. Excited about that so um, we're in Solus right now. So let me close that real quick. Um, so here's the basic desktop of Solus. So up here we have um, our notification menu uh, you can ju just open this up. You can see the applets you have. For example, your um, all the applets from up here, your uh, calendar, uh, your different sound things, and just overall notification. Like here's my network notification because I'm in VirtualBox. And then you have your other little system commands like turn off, lock, and uh, system preferences. So you just click out of that real quick, and uh, there you go. And uh, as you can see, I haven't really modified with the time and date settings. So yeah, this is the basic desktop. Up here we have our uh, favorite programs, so we can see the uh, launch Firefox, launch hex chat, um, VLC player, I'm um, glad that's installed, and the uh, just the media player. So we just open this up right here, and this is where all our tools are and programs. Um, it's very familiar with other uh, taskbars, kind of like Anergos and uh, uh, things like that with the, uh, the, uh, the uh, start menu. There we go. Kind of like uh, Linux Mint with the Cinnamon desktop environment. Um, so we, as you know with other things, you can just go through these different uh, kind of folders or programs to check through. So we'll just open up the terminal real quick and we'll go to System Tools and click Terminal right there. If that pop up, as you can see I'm a live user because I'm running it in the uh, live mode. So um, we're going to go through how to add a repository or oh, let's not do that but we'll do installing software and updating the repositories upgrading software and updating it so first we use the EOPKG so whoop, type that totally wrong I don't think it's your EOPKG there we go and then install and then what is your package name so you do Firefox um, and make sure you have sudo make sure you do that see so EO package install Firefox um, that is simply how you would install it. See, it's already installed, so it's not going to do that. Um, so for updating, uh, you usually use sudo apt-get update. Um, you would do that in Debian-based operating systems, but you use the EO package command, and then update repo for repositories. And um, it'll update the Solus repository and everything else. And then if you want to upgrade apps and update your existing apps, you do the same thing except upgrade and I'll up, it'll tell you all the apps and it'll ask me if I want to update these different apps and I'm just going to be like no because I don't feel like installing all of that see it has the kernel, the budgie desktop all of that that needs to be installed and another cool thing you can use the EO package and you can do list installed and you can see all the apps that you have installed and it gives you a little thing on the side tells you what they are um, and that's just a cool feature that uh, EO package has. So yeah, basically, and I just press Control C to clear that out and exit it. So basically, this is um, Solus, very nice, clean, and uh, it doesn't take a lot of um, it doesn't take a lot of resources. So that's good. So we'll look at the software center. Um, this is the uh, alternate way of installing software. If you're not wanting to do it through the command line, um, you can just go to updates if you want to update. Um, so you're already installed things, third-party software like Google Chrome, I'm glad they have that up there, um, Spotify, Cause things like Ubuntu, sometimes Google Chrome can be a pain to just install, so that's quick, you can just go over here and click install, there's your favorite software, and then you can just search, um, for example, um, Firefox, you just go over here, click it, and then uh, you just install it that way. So. And then you can just go through the home and search through these categories. So we'll go look at the gaming. Let's see. Uh, we'll go to card games. Let's see, we have known Mahong and S. Low Riot. So those look like pretty cool games. Let's 
see main games collection we have a uh, Linux Steam integration um, we have uh, Lutris mind test looks like they'll and then just steam right there um, so that's cool that they have that on there for you because uh, steam can be a pain also getting installed just like Google Chrome on other operating systems so yeah this is basically um, Solus for you it has a lot of good uh, stuff installed your hardware drivers already installed a lot of it that it supports um, we'll take a look at the disk usage, usage analyzer uh, I haven't actually looked at this yet, just want to see if it's different than any of the other. Uh, and then we'll look at uh, the uh, installing installing the OS, we'll click on that too. Because, um, wait for those to boot up real quick. Since I'm running as a live user inside VirtualBox, it can take a second for uh, things to boot up. So, let's open that. So, this is the install uh, thing. So you can install it to a disk or continue using uh, live preview and that's just continue what I'm doing and just close it out for you. And I'll just show you all what um, the overall install process looks like. Um, find my location automatically. As you can see, it's great. Um, it's a great, uh, great tool uh, for installing. You're not having to work with the command line. You have a good uh, graphical user interface for that. Um, so. Yeah, this is it where you install, and I'm not going to install it. And of course, since I'm running this in VirtualBox with minimal uh, storage, I can't install. So yeah, this is Solus. Um, thanks for watching this video, and make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you later next time.